I'm pretty sure that we don't have any of those events to go over, but we still have support conversations. So let's do that. Monica. All right. You wanted to talk, Monica? This is an interesting choice of location. It is. I hear you've been going above and beyond lately. That you perform miracles each time you set foot on the battlefield. Miracles? Why are you complimenting me all of a sudden? I mean, things have been going well, but... Oh, I assure you, I have no ulterior motive. You've helped me out a great deal too, after all. Oh, really? Even Her Majesty praises your fine work. Oh, there it is. She talks about you so much, in fact, I'm more than a little sick of hearing your name. Oh, boy. Huh. She talks about me that much? Wait a sec. You aren't jealous, are you? Nah, that wouldn't make any sense. Yes, it would. Indeed, it wouldn't. Why in the world would I be jealous of you? After all... You are merely Her Majesty's subordinate. Uh-huh. Your relationship will never transcend the bounds of master and servant. It will never reach the depths of meaning that Her Majesty and I share. Uh-huh. So you are jealous. In what way? I am merely telling you the truth as I see it. No, you're not. It never even crossed my mind how irritatingly close you and Her Majesty are. Not once. There it is. Uh... Yeah, you basically just admitted it. Yeah. I certainly did not. You did. You did? You said you were jealous that Edelgard and I are so close. The word jealous never traversed my lips. Well, not the word itself. You sure you're not, though? Perhaps... a little? That's what I thought. Yeah. But so what if I am? I have always been Her Majesty's most devoted admirer. Hubert is one thing, but you... You're just a run-of-the-mill mercenary. Uh-huh. To think Her Majesty has uttered your name more times than she has mine, it makes me want to scream my lungs out! Oh, you've been counting? Oh, God. Why even keep score? It's not a contest. All this worrying is just going to stress you out. It is. It's no good. I still keep track even if I'm not worried. I cannot help it. Why? I can't believe it has come to this. I have no other choice but to ask for your help. I'm not a therapist. What's come to what now? I will just have to show you. Come on, let's go. Uh-oh. I don't want to go anywhere. Oh god, that's how it ended? <laughs> Which battlefield are you headed to? Ah uh, yes, just straight to this. We have returned to Enbar. It's far warmer than the kingdom, for one. How are you doing, Your Majesty? I hope you've been getting some rest, at least. Eh, personally, I like the cold. Love it. But I'm in Canada, so... It seems you never stop working unless someone physically pulls you away from it. I think that's Dimitri. I've been getting more rest than Hubert, at least. We're here in the gardens, chatting, are we not? Fair enough. And so I'm clear. Even a sliver of your time is a blessing beyond all measure. Oh my god. Though I suggest you find a better point of comparison than Hubert for how hard you work. You know what I need? Some good, solid alone time. Just kicking back and taking it easy for a bit. Me too. I agree. When you're busy, taking it easy begins to sound like quite the luxury. Hmm? 
What's happening in the throne room? Hubert, what's wrong? Intruders in the palace, your majesty. It's not those who slid there in the dark. I think I know who it is. They entered through one of the secret passages and are even now attempting to hunt you down. I sent soldiers to intercept them. We should be prepared for anything. Do you think it's those who slither in the dark? It's not. I know not. But they could not have breached that passage without assistance from the inside. Though there are only a few who know of that passage and would be capable of acting as a guide. Why are you looking at him? There's no way he knows. Your Majesty, might you kindly step this way? Hubert, do you really think he would do that? It wouldn't make sense to think I would do that. I knew it! That's Shamir, isn't it? <laughs> I knew it! You're not getting away! This shall be your grave intruder! You simpleton! Were you trying to annihilate me as well? Thanks to you, the assassin made their escape! As though one of your paltry skill would have caught such elusive prey in the first uh, place. Ouch! What matters now is that we give pursuit. All trespassers must be felled without mercy. Aww, oh, she likes that we saved her. <laughs> Persuade? I don't know. Should I persuade her? I mean, she is a mercenary. Stronghold sabotage? It starts with three strongholds. What's the point of that? Alright, yeah. I'll go with this. Let's see. The future that's yet to come. Okay, so that's Hubert, that's Aelgard. Okay. I'm going to doze off. I just know it. Yeah, this all seems about right. All right. Monica, you're disturbingly obsessed. Why don't you protect Edelgard? Why is she a fortress knight? Oh, that's right. I made her one. It's Bernie's time to sure hope this. Leave this one to me. That's my cue. Oh, if I must, leave this to me. Starting the mission. Is that an order? Not a problem. I've got this. So, what should I be doing again? Sure, let's try it. There's not a question of can. We'll leave this to me. Which means the attackers. They must be the Knights of Saros' assassins. I knew it. We must protect your majesty with everything we have. Stop the enemy incursion. Seal up those entry points before reinforcements arrive. That he remain in the throne room where it will be easier to defend him and predict enemy movements. And as your protection will require my full attention, I will remain here at your side. <laughs> Why aren't you dead yet? Come on. I still find this whole affair to be very annoying. I assure you, I'm no fighter. <laughs> oh, I must. <laughs> no, but you can fight, can't you? Witness. Says the wolf in sheep's clothes. 
Which sure, whatever. Where's the Emperor? It must careless to be allowed an assassin's inside. We must exterminate them with much haste. <laughs> Good. Just a little more and we'll retake this section of the palace. You're weak. Brings a priest and monks to assassinate. So, sure, let's drop. Leave. That's my cue. That doesn't make any sense. There, leave this to me. It's sure hope. It's burning. Sure hope. There, leave this to me. I have this. You're not my target, which means you're wasting my time. Bro, snap! It seems you're actually willing to work. When the Emperor's life is on the line. Could you imagine the headaches if she died? Not that you don't already work every second of the day. Alright, I'm confident that you're safe now. Take a breather. What a pain. I can't waste another minute. Ah, oh, she left. Slippery creature. Let's stay on guard. Over here! More intruders! It's a little misleading. I'm seeing a lot of intruders. Not a problem. All right, start with those fortress knights. Leave this one to me. That's my cue. So. Starting the mission is the. So. What should I be doing again? Sure, let's try it. It's Bernie's time to shine. Sure, hope this goes. There's not a question of can. Only a matter of will. The palace still teams with enemies. Crush them all! Is there even one room I can be alone? Don't worry, Monica will keep him safe. Oh, I like this room. He's gone. The enemy is trying to seize the fire orbs. Fire orbs? Oh, right, we have those. There's not a question of can. Leave this to me. So, sure, let's try it. Uh, where's my death knight? 
starting the mission. You're not actually the Death Knight yet, are you? It is time. I have this. If they succeed, they'll be able to target Her Majesty. We can't let that happen. Luck. I, will... I can't just see those to nasty threat. Dispatch her at once. That's one side safe. Now the other fire orbs. Yeah, we should get more reinforcements here. Leave this one to me. That's my cue. Leave this Actually, you're not even needed there. That's my Answer cue. Squidward's there. Oh, if I must. It's not my turn. <laughs> Yeah. Pretty much. Pretty excessive for an assassination. Both. She's not a wuss. Right. 
Something tells me my number one guy is going to be needed, but he's dealing with a bunch of guys now, so... That's it. Yeah, this is clearly a trap. Well, it can't be us. Ah, yeah, Catherine. I knew he, she were, you were coming. Nice sword. It's brave of you to try and lure us out, but such courage will cost you your life. Not a problem. I'm... I will gladly handle this. Take a breather. Thunder, Catherine. It seems Rhea is not playing around. I'll kill you all! My lord, we stand ready to ward the Emperor back to the throne room upon your command. No mercy to the Archbishop's enemies! Do it. As you wish. Use the magic. A wise man is <laughs> Well, we lured Catherine out. Leeway. The situation calls for careful reflection. Still, you saved my life, which means my path for the future remains intact. Thank you. You're welcome. Hubert, you're kind of a dick for thinking I would betray you. Hubert, my father <laughs> vanished. Yes, 
We should have killed the dastard when we had the chance. All I can say is that I wished my father to be tried fairly. As is his no- But now, it is clear that will never happen. I could excoriate you further, but we lack the time. We must get to the bottom of this. And quickly, the Knights of Saros descended on us with the fury I have rarely seen. In all that confusion, even a bear could have slipped away without raising an alarm. I would not go so far as to call them conspirators, but... My father had many old friends in the palace. Some may have turned a blind eye. They should be found and questioned. I agree. That is one possibility. No, well, there is another. Those who slither in the dark. Yes. Well, now that we have a fugitive on our hands, I intend to make full use of it. This situation affords us a chance to remedy another. What? If that is the beginning of a scheme, Hubert, you do a terribly poor job of veiling it. It is no concern of yours. Not yet, at any rate. Right. Lovely. Well, so long as whatever you're planning has Edelgard's blessing and will be of aid to the Empire, I will brook no complaint. All will be revealed in time. All of my victories are for Lady A. Oh, there we go. We gotta level up. There we go. <laughs> well, would you look at that? I guess. I'm told the secret passage they used was sealed off centuries ago. Yes. The palace floor plans failed to even show it. I'm shocked the church knew of its existence. In the age of Saros, the Empire and Church were intimately related. Oh, well now it makes perfect sense. It's safe to assume the Central Church took pains to retain its information from the time. I shudder to think what other inconvenient secrets they might be privy to. Yes, well, based on the scale of the attack, they must have seen this as their first and only chance. Ah, there you are. And they said you wanted to talk? Are you going to apologize or kill me? Uh, yes. I believe I owe you an apology. Damn right you do. Oh yeah? What for? What do you mean, what for? To be blunt, I thought you were with the enemy. I had you pegged for an informant, planted among us by those who slither in the dark. Nah, that's not their style. They don't make it obvious. It was not an unreasonable assumption. You enter Her Majesty's life at the perfect time, allure her with your strength, and choose our house to study with. You make that almost sound like some sort of sick romance novel. But no, they would have hit he would have hit his dark powers. And oh, surprise! You have dark powers. It was all too much to dismiss as mere coincidence. You should have said, I thought it was mere coincidence, buddy. Those who live in the dark don't make anything too obvious. It was at Hubert's suggestion that I appointed you captain of our mercenary unit. Hmm? He felt this would allow us to quietly assess your abilities and allegiances, and I agreed. I know I told you I did this because I believed in you and your strength, but the decision was somewhat more nuanced than that. I'm sorry. The moment I got wind of this attack, I immediately thought of you. Yeah, you looked right at me. This is it, I thought. The traitor has sprung the trap, and now the Emperor's life is in danger. But instead, you thwarted the assassination attempt and kept Her Majesty safe. I did. I even beat the crap out of Catherine. I was wrong about you. Deeply so. And for that, I am ashamed beyond measure. Pray forgive me. Well, you're just doing your job. Don't worry about it. I would have done the same. Probably. Honestly, I thought it was weird how quick you both trusted me. Good to finally know the reason behind it all. That does not excuse our actions. We had no right to deceive you as we did. No, you did not. But I swear, we will make amends. You have but to let us know how. You can start by trusting me. Or, if that's not in the cards, have the decency to tell me you don't to my face. <laughs> At least then I'll know where I stand. I doubt doing so would have changed anything. But I understand the sentiment. We will attempt to be better going forward. 
Ooh, you'll attempt to be better at going forward. Just like how a husband will attempt to stop drinking. Be better? Really? Hubert, why not just promise to be more forthright? Because that might make me a liar. You know, that's actually a good point. Let me speak plain. I no longer believe you to be working with the enemy. However, that does not necessarily mean the possibility is now non-existent. <laughs> wow. Well, I guess I did ask for honesty. But of course we trust you. Or I do, at least. So please, let us begin this relationship anew on solid ground. Hmm. Um... That's something you want to say? now 1182. The great war Edelgard instigated has swept across Fodlan and looks more grim with each passing day. The Empire struggles to hold Aryan Road to the west and the Great Bridge to the east. The kingdom cannot bring western lands to heal. Even the Alliance must face changing times. Yeah, like half the houses are, are now working for us now. The Central Church sends the Knights of Seros to the Imperial Capital to assassinate the Emperor, but fails. Roughly half a year passes before the tides show any true sign of shifting. I suppose that went well. Scarlet Blaze. Shifting history. Huh? Five months have passed since the attack on the Emperor, and 1182 nears a close. Though each army schemes, the battle maps barely change. But now, history is about to resume its course. How so? What's going on? Today is a momentous day in Fodland's history that people will mark for generations. To Holy crap! Then why do you look so conflicted? I'm not conflicted, Claude. I'm just painfully aware of how much stronger I need to be. That's why I'm counting on you and the Alliance to make up the difference. Holy crap! Hey, I've got feeling unprepared down to a science, so let's say we help each other out. If we work together, we can achieve what's best for both of us, right? Indeed. I have reviewed the terms, Your Majesty. All that remains is the placement of your seals. Edelgard has clawed as an ally now. Everything looks good to me. I'm especially glad we found a solution to the control of murder. You've done fine work here, Hubert. Thanks. And thanks to you as well, Holst. You know I'm not good at this sort of thing. I've never known you to shy away from ceremonial affairs like this, but it is the most significant pact since the founding of the Leicester Alliance, so your caution was most prudent. I must admit, I was quite nervous. Thankfully, I managed not to follow up. You surely jest? You did your work masterfully, without batting an eye. I am truly impressed that Leicester's most valiant general is so well versed in diplomacy. Don't be insulting, Hubert. Sir Holst is a duke. A man can be brave in battle and still know how to get things done. Take our Minister of Military Affairs, for example. A man for whom the term looks can be deceiving was likely invented. Speaking of Count Burglies, where is he? I thought he'd be here so we could go head to head. We never did get to finish our battle. I'm afraid the Count couldn't make it, but perhaps you'd consider my bodyguard instead? Wait, what? I'm certain you'll find the chat. <laughs> Even you. he's like, what? Is this your first time meeting by Did you guys friends? see the way he kind of like jumped there? Well, friend, care to go around with me? They say this Holst character is the strongest man in Leicester, but is he as strong as the Ashen Demon? I wouldn't miss it for the world. Now that's what I like to hear. I hope you mean later and not this very second. It would be a shame to get blood all over this nice paperwork. Yes. All eyes are on us. We must make this a grand gesture and show our soldiers that Adrestia and Lester have joined forces for a brighter future. Well, let's get to it. As leader of all the lords and knights who sit at the round table of the Lester Alliance, <laughs> yeah. I, Claude von Regan, hereby swear this pact. 
Leicester pledges to work in harmony with the Adrestian Empire and do everything in its power to secure a peaceful future for Fodlan. By the covenant between the red blood and the white sword that crowns the double-headed eagle, I, Edelgard von Hressfeld, hereby swear this pact. Adrestia pledges to work hand in hand with the Leicester Alliance to deliver peace to the land and secure a future for all its people. The pact is sealed. And now it is our job to uphold it. Goodness, look how far you've risen. You're standing on the stage of history. I am. I know you'll do great things. Yes, and greater things still. It's true, I was. We've got plenty of bright new faces here at the round table today. Um, two of them are warlocks. First, a brand new count ruling Gloucester. Unfortunately, Lawrence was not able to leave Gloucester. He sends his apologies. What? Why? I called you here to give you notice. The Leicester Alliance is assenting to the Empire's request and sending troops to the Kingdom Front. Houses Regan, Gloucester, and Daphne will be supplying most of the soldiers. And instead of the usual route through Aelel, we'll be invading Fraldarius directly by sea. You're staying behind, right, host? Indeed I am. Almira is still an unknown quantity. And we've no idea if or when Prince Shahid might stage another attack. And the same goes for House Ordelia. They've had more than their share of troubles on their border. We agreed that shipping their army away might not be the most prudent of ideas. And that's all she wrote. You'll find the details in the document you've all been given. I wish the kingdom would see there between a rock named Adrestia and a hard place named Lester and throw that white flag high. But of course they won't. So good luck, everyone. I'm counting on you. Oh, look, there's a soldier. And that's a Pegasus Knight, I believe. My goodness. Without including Claude, there's like three generals left. I destroyed and the. So, the alliance has agreed to bring their troops to bear and attack the kingdom from the east. They have three generals. No shit, they're gonna. At the same time, we will resume our invasion from the west using Aryan Road as a foothold. We'll subjugate the kingdom's lords one by one as we work our way toward Blakehold. News of the pact will doubtless have spread throughout the kingdom by now. Provided enough houses see the futility in fighting, we may be able to avoid unnecessary bloodshed. However, that is likely wishful thinking. We should instead expect the worst and prepare accordingly. You think? Some of them already bent the knee to us once, along with Count Roe. Wouldn't they jump at a chance to swap sides again? An idea I am certain has already occurred to the King. Lately, we have been scrambling to reorganize. Dealing with an attack by the Knights of Seros and negotiating a pact with Lester. And during that time, the winds of purgation have swept across Fargus. In one fell swoop, the king has expunged most of the nobles likely to align with us. Still, it's us and the alliance. What? Him, which means we've got the advantage. He killed lords and nobles he thinks will betray him? I mean, I guess that's a good idea in theory, but they haven't done it yet. They're innocent until they commit a crime. What's there to worry about? The concern isn't that we'll lose. It's that winning might come at the cost of too many lives. What an utterly pointless, senseless thing to do. Oh, I find it all so very draining. Whatever our intent, we're the instigators here. We can't expect the enemy to do anything less than defend their land with tooth and claw. Speak for yourself. If someone invaded my territory, I'd hand over lands and titles on a silver platter. Especially if I had no chance of winning. There is truly no other noble like you, Lenard. And perhaps no person at all for that matter. Regardless, we must proceed with caution. When people think someone is after what they possess, they respond with fear. Even if the thought is all in their head, in the eyes of the people of Fargus, there is no limit to what evils the Empire might visit upon them. My father started saying he can't sleep because he's scared the old church is coming to Garrett Mock to kill him. From the sound of my mother's letters, he's really shaken up. Well, good, because he's a bit of a dick. Remember that the kingdom has much coldness. We must not forget to be bundling up like people of the snow. Our Petra is always ready for what lies ahead. I wish I had better understanding of your Fodlin ways, so I could be giving more assistance to everyone. Don't worry about it, Petra. 
With all the different factions in this thing, even we have a hard time keeping it straight. This almost seems so backward compared to the way things were in Bridget. In any case, the battles ahead will be more brutal than any we have yet fought. That is all. Dismissed. Guess things aren't gonna be so easy anymore. We're under some real pressure to win. Eh, we'll be fine. You can now? Oh, finally! But I can't really get that yet. Emperor... Hang on a second. I carry a little of everything here. You've got yes, quality, I need those. Hope to see you again soon. Supplies are the lifeblood of any army. Hmm. Everything has its use. I think we can get those. I wonder. Training can be the difference between victory and defeat. Damn. Lavish building material and elite training gear. With proper training, you'll be unstoppable. Supplies are the lifeblood of any army. Everything has its use. Training can be the difference between victory and defeat. Alright, I didn't unlock it yet. Whoops. Hold on, you're getting a hold of yourself, buddy. That should do it. No, not that. Acquire class. I can't. Oh, that's why. Wait, can I get you? I will heal my own path with this power. Sweet. I work. I need. Time to work you into shape. Well, this is a new look for me. I think it looks good. Don't have a master seal, though. All right, back to training, everybody. One step at a time. Hey, new power. All right. Oh. 
Look at that. Yeah, but I don't have any more seals, so what are we gonna do here? This will take some getting used to. I think I'm. Oh, you. This is. Time to work you into shape. You look good as a warlock. I demand further strength. And you will get it. In fact, here you go right now. You said Ailgard wanted something? Shall we? Okay. Final suggestions. Hmm. Start a chapter, offer battle suggestions, implement it, suggest a boost of moral, input suggestions, effects until the end of the chapter. Okay. Wielding swords. I think only two of us are wielding swords. Axes, only one. Alright, this one. Leave everything to me. Shall we? What do you think? Special accessory, unique action ability overwritten. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Are you telling me that I could give this to Hubert and get his superpower? Hubert laid into me after the Knights of Saros raided Enbar. It got me thinking. What do I need to do for you to- Nothing. Hubert and I stopped doubting you the moment that business was behind us. You worked tirelessly for me, and I'm grateful for that. Still, we have no idea when those who slither in the dark might try to interfere again. Honestly, it kind of feels like there's more I should be doing to help. Like I'm- Very well. What do you propose? Hmm. If I had to pick something, I'd say protecting you would be my top priority. Aww. I'm to pick with you, especially the church and those who slither in the dark. 
and they won't rest till they have your head. After all, the Imperial Army's not gonna lose if we've got you at the top handing down orders. And I figure Hubert will stay off my back as long as I put my energy into keeping you safe. Then you can lead us to victory, and we'll all live trustfully ever after. Trustfully. <laughs> Perhaps, but I think you're forgetting something. The only way to protect me is by staying at my side. And therein lies a conundrum. Allowing you that close to me would in itself be proof of my trust. Without which you would have never earned such an opportunity in the first place. True. I know that. Still, I can't help but feel like that's what I've got to do to prove myself to you. Please, Edelgard. Even if it just means shielding you from your enemies. Hmm. Very well. Do as you will. In the meanwhile, I'll tell Hubert... Well, I'm not entirely sure what I will tell him. <laughs> yeah. At the very least, we know those who slither in the dark are able to shapeshift at will. So, in a way, it doesn't matter who I choose to surround myself with. They could just as well turn out to be someone wholly different. Thanks, Edelgard. I honestly could have sworn you were going to say no. Of course. What I truly want to know is why you'd risk your life just to earn my trust. Do you really have to ask? You reshaped my entire life. Before I met you, I had nobody. I was nobody. But you still chose me, of all people, to command one of your armies. Now, I can't walk down the street without people yelling my name. And I've got a great life, surrounded by amazing friends. All of it possible because of you. That's not true. You would not have earned this post if you lacked the talent. Maybe now, but before you came along, nobody in the Empire gave a Pegasus's backside about talent. <laughs> Pegasus's backside? No one else would. Ah, I see. If you want proof you've changed the world, just take a look at me. Because this guy, he's a whole new person thanks to you. That was so sweet, I'm sick of it. Oh no, it's them. Oh, what a mess. I've really done it this time. Her Majesty is the kindest person I know, so she's likely not upset with me, but I still cannot bring myself to face her. Hello, Monica. What brings you to this particular wall for conversation? What do you want, Hubert? I lack the energy to keep you company right now, so please just... <laughs> Very well. I thought you might be interested to know that Lady Edelgard was overcome with grief, as she told me how deeply she regrets wounding you with her words. But, as you desire solitude, I will endeavor to keep that to myself. She did? And wait, did you not just tell me what she said? Hmm? Yeah. Oh, not at all. I was merely speaking to myself. No, you weren't, you dick. There was a painting in Her Majesty's chambers, and... Subtlety is not my strong suit, to put it lightly. Um... I'm sorry, was she drawing me? I asked her whose child had scribbled on such an expensive canvas, before realizing Her Majesty had actually painted it herself. Oh no! No! You're an idiot! Oh my god, Monica! So she didn't hurt me, I hurt her. Oh my god! Oh, I'm so ashamed. Lady Edelgard can be quite sensitive. Despite how she carries herself, perhaps she was so stunned by your comment that she made a hurt for one of her own in the heat of the moment. You need not let it weigh upon you. Such events are commonplace for me as well. You amaze me, Hubert. How are you not beside yourself at Her Majesty's every utterance? I know I said that I wanted to become her servant, but now I think it may be impossible. I don't think she's gonna be mad over this small thing, but wow! You just friggin' burned her straight to the ground. Her Majesty is so radiant. I'm not sure I possess the fortitude to bask in that glow every minute of the day. Perhaps some distance between us is better for me. Do you truly believe that? 
Even though you now have an opportunity to become her servant? Wait, I do? Once this war is settled, Her Majesty will endeavor to tear down the entire concept of the nobility. Her first action will be to separate territory from title, making it so that being a noble no longer means one must lord over some plot of land somewhere. Once she does this, I rather suspect you could remain at her side, even if you do inherit your family's title. You're right. How could I have failed to realize that? I have heard her talk about her plan so many times before, but I never considered what an impact it would have on me. Ah, oh, I am such a fool. You really are. Not at all. You simply illustrate what it is to be part of the established system. One is not easily shaken from its structure. This is why Her Majesty takes such drastic measures to rid us of the accepted practice of categorizing individuals as either noble or common. <sighs> Honestly, I don't believe there's another more suited to serving Her Majesty than you. But I still will not give up. I'm going to become her servant too and show everyone a new way of life for the nobility and for whatever lies beyond. Which means I cannot simply stand here in this state of indecision. There is much work to do. <laughs> I suspected she might be stopped in her tracks for but a moment. And indeed, she has gone and left me in the dust. Well, I cannot permit myself to be left behind in such a fashion. I must keep making progress of my own. See, now you're talking to yourself. Ugh. I think that's all I can do right now. But damn, Monica. You just tore her in half. And you didn't even mean to. Oh. Oh. Well, this is a good way to end.